All right, guys, so I just got done installing my 20KW Cummins generator, and I figured I'd do a quick video and kind of uh, talk about how I hooked it up. Um, not so much about the generator itself. There's tons of videos about generators out there, uh, but more about the electrical panel and uh, meter panel here, because I have a 400 amp service in my house. So I'll kind of walk through that because there wasn't a lot of info out there uh, when I was looking around. Okay guys, so this is my setup now. So here's what I have. Um, these panels here, so this one and this one used to be my main panels. This is the new transfer switch. So I have a little bit of a unique setup in the sense that I have a 400 amp service coming to my house. So what that is, is the meter panel, I have four hots and two neutrals coming out of it. So prior to the transfer switch, I had two hots and a neutral coming out of right here and powering this panel. And then the same over here, two hots and a neutral powering this panel. So that allowed me 200 amps here and 200 amps here. So when I decided to put in a generator, I needed to buy a 400 amp transfer switch. So uh, this is a service entrance rated transfer switch. Um, and this was the part that was somewhat confusing to me when I first got going. I was trying to figure out how to wire in from the meter to this and then split off to my panels. So here's what I got. Um, I'll put a picture up here really quick, uh, a still picture up here, so I can explain what it looks like inside the meter panel. Uh, so inside there, I'll have my main lines coming in from the utility company and then two lines coming out and we'll call them the reds here. So two reds coming out, two blacks coming out, and then of course my two neutrals coming out. So uh, those go from that panel in here now to my transfer switch. Uh, and so those four hot lines, two reds, two blacks, come up into now, this is my main disconnect. So you can see here, the two reds hook up to the same side and the two blacks to the same side. So I'm bringing um, both of these together, 120 volts, both blacks together, 120 volts. So I still have my 240. I just have the possibility of 400 amps between um, this setup. So through the main breaker panel, uh, or sorry, through the main breaker, transfer switch that actually does the transferring. Uh, and then down here, here's my uh, load coming out. So one red goes over to that panel, one black goes over to that panel. That panel will have 200 amps at 240 volts. And then the other two, same thing. One black, one red over to that panel. Um, and then this here, this red, this black, these smaller ones, the, that's my generator feed coming in from the generator to power the transfer switch here. So um, also from the meter coming through from the meter, uh, these are my two neutrals that they used to go to these panels. They were rerouted here. Um, and then I had to hook up two new neutrals that ran to uh, the panels, one to each panel. So um, that none of that was really the difficult part of getting it hooked up. Um, <clears throat> took me a little while to understand the, the four hot lines and how all those would, uh, would go together. So hopefully my description of this to you uh, has made it a little bit uh, clear for anybody that's planning on doing this. So probably one of the more difficult things about this project, uh, aside from fighting 
these wires. Um, well, so let me tell you, let me tell you what size these are also. So coming from the meter to the main here. So all these, the all four hots are 4-0 aluminum wire. Um, and then the neutrals are 2-0 aluminum wire. And I just maintained or stuck with that going from um, the, or through the transfer switch down to my panels. So those have four O's and two O's uh, going to those. Um, after fighting with those through this two inch flex conduit, I kind of wish I would have uh, changed these aluminum out to copper because I could have gone down a wire size and it would have made it a little bit easier getting it through there. Okay, um, so the other thing that is a big deal when you um, take a system like I had, so these were my main breaker panels. Um, and so it went from the meter directly to these. These had their own grounds. Uh, they were bonded. So the grounds and the neutrals were bonded together. So when you change and uh, it to something like this, now this becomes the main panel and this is now the main disconnect. So uh, what happens is each one of these panels, um, they have to become unbonded. So typically uh, you will see your neutrals, so your white wires, and then the bare copper wires all intermingled on these uh, bars here. And you'll see this green screw right up here in that spot on all the panels. And this bonds the neutral bars to the panel itself. So that makes all of the grounds and neutrals bonded together. Well, in a sub panel, which now that's what this is, each one of these are considered sub panels. So in a sub panel, you do not have neutrals and grounds bonded together. So that was probably one of the more tedious jobs with this was I had to shut off my disconnect. Even though you shut this off, remember that these are all still live. So I shut off my disconnect, everything down here was uh, de-energized and I had to either move or disconnect these wires so that I could then add ground bars to the panel and then I had to pull all of my copper, my uh, ground wires off and relocate them into those ground bars. And I had to do that for both panels. So that makes it, uh, that's kind of a tough and tedious job to work around uh, your big feeder lines coming in and then any of these uh, breaker wires. So, uh, and that's pretty much it. That was kind of my, um, the process I used and uh, figured I'd share some of that, uh, especially about the 400 amp transfer switch here and um, kind of what, is all expected uh, with the system or, you know, what's happening with the, the four hotlines coming in. So most everybody is probably gonna have just a 200 amp system or service in their house. And then you'll just have a 200 amp uh, automatic transfer switch. And then that's very straightforward uh, as far as that goes, but I looked on YouTube for some videos about 400 amp transfer switches and I didn't really find a whole lot. So that's why I figured I'd put this out there. All right, well, thanks for watching.